Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode. Uh, what's this? E4? What's this nightmare? And yeah, I think once, so. again, once again, I'm joined by Master Rust. Hello. And yeah, I'm about to declare. Well, not quite yet, but I will be declaring a war in the near future. Hopefully, I can get a fair bit of land in that. So, my army limit rose to 9, which is nice. So, Fianna still has four. Brunswick and Mormorland. Hmm, that's a question. Um, alphabet, please. Brunswick. <clears throat> Brunswick was sizable from what I saw. So many nations are starting with B. Oh boy. <laughs> Brunswick, five. Oh, max limit is five. Okay, so I can handle that. And Mormorland, that's tiny as far as I can recall. Like, that was an OPM, I think. Still scrolling and scrolling. <laughs> uh, let's see. Friend of Need, Coffers. Uh, administrative aid. You know, I can do some admin points. More yeah, we're in my next war, I might be destroying three nations. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, Mormelon has a fourth limit of four. So they're not going to be a problem either. I just need to get one more claim before I declare the war. Just so that it's a little bit less a. Do you have a port? Oh my god, you are still... Oh, Guinness just flunked my request for admin points. That's not nice. Hmm. So, um, I know we're married and all, but... You know what? Fuck that alliance, really. Yeah, it might be that I'm slowly making my way also to north to reach the English Channel. In that case, I'm gonna cancel my alliance with uh, Guinness. <laughs> because <laughs> they are literally on the coast there. Well, I mean, yeah, it's still gonna take a while before I actually reach the coast, but it's... Uh, yeah, least... but they insulted me by reneging on uh, an alliance and a relation. So, yep. And I'm still one over, so as soon as that royal marriage ends, I'm good. Fair enough. Uh, so you're a junior partner of Brunswick. Okay, they do have... Hang on. Aren't you allied to Brunswick? Yes, you are. Okay, none of us have actually oh. level 2 and military. That's good. Uh, it's a good thing I checked. So, Friesland is junior partner to Brunswick. Oh. Yeah. So, if I declare on Fianen, which will bring in Brunswick, because, you know, AI and all that. Yeah. That will pull in uh, Friesland as well. Oh. And, okay, they don't really have much in the way of army. They have 2,000 men. Now, um, I could say it's an opportunity because I do want me some Friesland. Yeah. They have a force limit of two. Okay. Only two? Oh, wow. They are a vessel, and I think they are still. Um... Okay, no, they are Margrave and they have Western. But. Yeah, force limit of two. That's what I, that's what they got. And Ameland has an army of one. Okay, I can get a claim over there. Could theoretically I also wanna stomp you, so Right, um, I'm going to declare a war here. Uh, noted. Ah, Brienne, okay, yeah, we, we talked about that one. Yep. 
Um, stack wipe. Yeah, that was a stack wipe. Good. Through three million years before I can annex Armaland. How's Kike looking? Oh, I could do that reasonably quick as well. I could make you a march instead for a while. But an OPM as a march doesn't really seem like a useful thing right now. Huh. If I send over three, that will still allow me five, six. To be fair, I never really appreciated the looting money before, but it is actually surprisingly good. Oh yeah, I believe that. You're not really making any claims there, so that's gonna take a while before you can actually do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Oh, hello. Government reform, please. Okay, so from the three enemies that we are fighting currently, all of their capsules are being seized down. Huh. So I could go for National Manpower Modifier plus 15%. Or I go for Curtail Noble Privileges, National Tax Modifier plus 10%, and Nobility Influence minus 10%. Yeah, I went for the Manpower. Uh... Because quite frankly, I don't mind the Nobility having some extra influence, because that gives the better bonuses. True. And I'm probably going to need the Manpower quite a bit. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. Even though I am the Netherlands, or should be the Netherlands at some point. But yeah, the year is 1067. Um, nobility still rules. <laughs> yeah. That's one siege. Hmm. Okay. So if I declare, Fianna will jump in, Mormeland will jump in, and Brunswick, who is probably on the other side, yeah, it's all the way on, on the other side of Saxony, will also jump in on that. Hmm. Swedenborg first, mm, Paderborn, okay. Alright, so that's two of the enemies already seized down. Let's have a look at the... Could I... I... Well, they wouldn't accept that quite yet, but I have a PC already. Are oh, these... I don't remember which of the series uh, in EU4, but that we did before I mentioned this, but it would be excellent if there was a notification on the top of the screen that, hey, the pre-seal that you have set up, the enemy would now accept it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of checking every 10 seconds, so, hey, did we get enough points? <laughs> yeah. Basically, okay. well, all I got was just, hey, you, all of all of a sudden, you have a hundred percent war score. Huh? How? <laughs> I mean, I didn't mind at all, but oh shit, I've got a force limit of seventeen now on the ships. Okay, maybe I don't destroy these guys entirely, so I don't get a coalition from France. Bellies. Oh, um, I may actually build some. Also a fort. I was still going to build a fort here. Uh, Kulenborg, yes. Ah, I got a witcher card for women door. Okay, and now... Maintenance is not bad. Okay, let's see. I want four. Ooh, I can upgrade Wait. to the next rank. 
Finally. I could have five, but I've got money for four. You know what? Save. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some prestige and tradition. I'm gonna get hundred. Holy crap! Three five three three general. I can't even build four galleys right now. I just noticed. It requires a hundred sailors. Oh. Yeah. I'm assuming that my accuracy expansion is. Fairly high towards France, but other than that, it's not too high. Because I can build two. Uh, one in Tessel. Mecklenburg, Golden Era. Sure, <laughs> waste your Golden Era. I'm out with Burgundy and Vexen. What about Vexen? They are like to Ponsu, Clermont, and Sassons. What to name? Bond. Hmm. Not a year before my... F oh, hello. Um, let's see. Lose 50 admin or lose 50 diplo power. Oof. Uh, I'm going to have to go for the admin power because I've got most of those. And... Oh, shit. Normandy's doing stuff. Royal marriage with oh. Phil is over. Hmm. Yeah, England is pretty much a uh, siege down. Yep. And Ireland is still a mess. Okay, you do want to remarry. Okay, good. Oh my god, I've actually never really looked at Ireland. Yeah, it's a mess. Holy hell, that's a bunch of... Oh, it's all petty kingdoms. Crikey. Ooh, just messy. Sure, I'll take that. Had to drop quite a bit of like just messy on this uh, hundred tradition general, but yeah, I think <laughs> it was worth it. Mm. It usually is. I mean, three star general. Yeah, yeah, that definitely is. Okay, let's see. So. Your points are going up, your Salic Law is alright, it's steady actually, it's not going up or down. Hmm. And you, your feudal authority is going up. No, 78 true. thieves now. Yeah, I destroyed two of them in my previous war. Mm -hmm. mm. And the princess had 386. It's going down. So there's definitely some battles going on left and right. Okay. How am I drilling? How is it going? Um, very freaking... Very well. I'm currently having my army just uh, rebel suppression. I could slack on recruiting standards and I'd gain... 2,400 men. That's barely worth it. Although it's quite a lot in this yeah, time period, but still. Yeah, in the early game it's not too bad, but I mean, I got 11,000 manpower in the bank, so I don't really need to use that. Well, that battle with Normandy really sapped. I managed to uh, win the war before my manpower ran out, then I had to still reinforce the rest of my army, so manpower ran out while I was at peace. So, okay, hmm. so Normandy didn't get the throne of England, but they did get a lot of money out of England. Huh. Oh, 
Oh god, yes. Spain's also a hot mess, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah. And the Reconquista hasn't really started all that much mm -hmm. yet. Would it help to suck up to the papacy? I mean, it, it gives you more points. I just don't have a diplomat to spare right now. I mean, I have one diplomat right now to spare, because I still can't do shit. Well, I could, but I... It's risky. Let's call it that. Uh, I need to have 150 develop development to get into Duchy rank. Uh, yeah, 150. Could spam some points just to get my tech up, but yeah, more points over there. Shalon is over there, and okay, that is technically in Germany, or at least HRE. Hmm. Ah, high income. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's a nice one. Okay, that's two drummers done. That would at least. Oh, it's the institution spreading. Yes. Not all that fast. No, no, it's ridiculously slow. And I don't think Utrecht is doing anything about it. They're just letting it seep in, basically. Oh, Rhymes is Archbishop Bishopric, so that's why they are getting that. I might actually wait for them to actually gain the investiture entirely and then attack. I just uh, got Miltech too. Nice. And that's ahead of Utrecht. Which is nice. Um, Paderborn has admin and diplo, but not Miltech too. Oh, uh -huh. Normandy has two of everything. Whoops. Hmm. I am... Hmm. So Brunswick is going to take a while before they get here. Friesland only has 2k men, but can walk to Ameland, which is why I have my fleet set, situated where it is. And Fianon should be run over easily. There we go, I got the core provinces now. Let them go. Wait oh, till that. they're fixed. That's yeah. actually my victory card. I have actually not looked at victory cards exactly. I mean, I know it's Utrecht. I just don't exactly know where. Yeah, the states are a lot larger than this. Oh, it's... Uh... No, it's literally the province of Utrecht. So, Betuwe, Amersfoort, uh, Vianen and Culemborg. No, I mean, I already well, own one of them. Yeah, basically the states in this are the provinces in vanilla. Yeah. But some of the provinces or states just have a lot of provinces in them. Mm-hmm. Uh, do I want a military advisor? Considering that I'm probably gonna go to war again. And I can get a land force limit modifier for a little bit. I think I'm going to take the tax modifier. Advisor for the time being. Discipline. Uh, fuck it. Length force limit. Right. You. Uh, making a lot of money. I'm going to get myself another Merc. Again. And I'm going to send off. One, two, and... No, I'm gonna keep the shock troops, so you... Okay, so in two years... I do. Rain should have the investiture. 
Right, that's 8k troops. Move over here. You still only have Miltech 1. Okay, how much longer for repairs? Um, huh, I have no sailors left from just moving those ships from A to B. Oopsie <laughs> daisy. Okay, I'm gonna need to recall my fleets. Uh, that's one, this one as well. Yeah, I'm just currently waiting for a little while here. I have been as well, but for now I feel like I should move. Before their alliance chain is getting larger. Um, <clears throat> Kuik, you're doing fine, okay. Take Fiona. Yeah, Brunswick and Mormeland, and I'm guessing that will pull in. If it doesn't, it's fine, but if it does, it's cool. Um, Munster. Oh, Munster actually would like to play. Oh. So does Gelder. Hmm. Munster is 5k. That would block off an attempt on their part. I will call in Münster. Question is, are they in the war? Yes, they are. Hello. Oh, I see. If I think that small nation there, plus some friends of theirs. And Friesland, who is... Uh, Okay, that was an absolute stack wipe, by the way. Holy shit. That was ugly as sin, and it worked. I love it. <laughs> okay, no attachments. Uh, detach a siege, and... Yes. Be, uh, being uh, behind in the institution is starting to hurt a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, it did for me as well. Gelder, how many troops can you bring? 5k troops. Uh... Munster, can I tell you to go straight for Brunswick, please? I really don't need you here. But you are joining me here anyway. Fair. Why is my fleet here? Go here. Oh, right. My air is 1, 2, 2. Not exactly what I'd hoped for. Oh, you... oh, this is pissing me off. Stop following me. There we go. Okay, Mormonland. Um, Munster, go after that as well. Just go anywhere but in Friesland, please. I don't need your ass here. <laughs> okay, that is not quite a wipe. Yeah, yeah, I have quite a collection of different things that I produce in my lands. And <laughs> Brunswick is sieging down Munster. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> it's not my problem. The sacrifice will be remembered. Not by us, but by them. Yeah. I mean, that's why you have vassals and allies, right? Like to... Uh... Destruction. Mm-hmm. 
However, I do believe we are out of time for this one. So if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out the other players' perspective. Link is down below in the description. And do check out our Twitch, Patreon and Discord links on our respective channels. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye.